This session is all about filing, which is saving files and opening files. If you want to start with a brand new blank file, go to File on the menu bar and choose New. Not only does this give you the opportunity to create a blank document, but it also gives you the opportunity to use a document template. A document template would have something in it that was useful to you. So for example, if you were an architect, you might have lots of walls or doors and windows in your file already. If you were a landscape, you might have lots of plants that you use all the time. Later on in this course, we will be opening templates. I've created them for you and they contain information for you. If you've opened a file recently and you want to reopen it, you can go to File, Open Recent, and you'll see a list of 20 recently opened files. If you know where your file is stored, you can go Open and you can look for it. As you're working in Vectorworks, it's really important that you save your file. All the time you should be saving your files when you've done something useful. Vectorworks has also got something called Auto Save. If I click here on this utility menu and come down to Vectorworks Preferences, there's something here called Auto Save, and it allows you to save your files on a regular basis. You can choose to auto save or not. You can choose to have it every 15 minutes or every 15 operations, and you can change this number if you want. You can choose to confirm before the save, or you can choose not to. You can choose to have this in the same location, or, as I do, choose a custom location and keep the last five copies. This is a great way of keeping a backup of all the work that you do. Click OK. If you're working in an office with a network, make sure you save your files where you've been instructed. If you're in a school, ask the teacher. If you're in an office, ask the office manager. Make sure you're saving your work in the correct location so that others can see it. One of the things I find really useful is the ability to know where I got my file from. So while we're talking about filing, I'd like to show you this. File on the menu bar, File Info. And it'll bring up a dialog box where it'll tell you what the size of the file is, where you saved it, and so on.